press the bell icon on youtube and don't miss another update so let me let me bring you back um, uh, general to the time you were vice Chan chancellor at aligarh muslim university uh, and a very active vice chancellor at that now i know that at the time smriti rani who is today the textiles minister was the human resources development minister and you had some interaction with her yes is that an understatement no you, i think you are right uh, it, it may be an understatement okay uh, how would you describe it well um, she took an instant dislike for me why is that because in my first meeting when i went with my wife as i generally do when i have to meet uh, when i have to when i'm meeting persons of the opposite sex or i'm calling on a minister i, I said it's better to take my wife along okay. and uh, i told her the the good work the university was building i also requested i said uh, that uh, please don't meddle in the affairs of aligarh muslim university the sentiments of the muslim why do you think she wanted to meddle no i knew i knew her she had said it's not a minority institution and such things i said don't meddle with that it is a minority institution i said i had taken oh no no she said i don't want to discuss that i'm not prepared but i said madam it is a minority institution and it is a minority institution because the supreme court has put a stay on the high court order so till that is uh, well overruled amu remains a minority institution and then you had another there was another exchange no with, so with her. so anyways i told her the the uh, the research being done she showed scant interest she was more interested in the files while i was briefing she her. was not interested in what was happening at no the i had taken a laptop and i was trying to show her this is what we are doing okay. uh, she was looking at something uh, and then uh, i left then a few months later i get a call from the chief minister mr oman chandi of kerala of kerala saying that uh, mr smriti rani wants to close down the amu center at kerala we have centers that's right in kerala bihar and uh, you know sure so he says please be part of the delegation because we want fun, uh, funds to run the center and appointed time in the in the office was given the hrd minister's office uh, 15 minutes before the time i landed up i didn't see a soul so i asked the secretary where is the hrd minister oh she says you didn't know i said no the venue has been changed so i rushed off to mrs smriti rani's residence right. the meeting had already started the chief minister of kerala had left a, had left a, a guide for me i was ushered in yes who are you i said i am janan shah you know me well enough uh, i am the uh, the vice chancellor of amu who invited you here i said the kerala chief minister asked me to to be part of the delegation who pays you the government of kerala the central government i said right ma'am I saluted and walked off because I had got the message that I was not welcome. The chief minister of Kerala regrettably didn't utter a word, mm -hmm. but he apologized profusely to me after the meeting. So then I believe you went. You took this when you met the prime minister subsequently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You also I did. I met the prime minister um, about two weeks after that. And you told him. I took a delegation, and uh, there, after we had discussed the problems, I requested five minutes with the prime minister separately. I told him the treatment meted out to me uh, by Smriti Rani. Yes, and uh, he said something which I is close to me, but I'll not reveal. But what did he say? Was he reassuring? Was he? Um, well, he said something your... which which uh, reinvigorated me. Okay. And so I went back and reassured, and then uh, I reported to the HRD minister saying that I would like to meet you. She had never given me a meeting after the first meeting. and i was straight away summoned okay. because i said i want to tell you what i told the the prime minister and she gave you time so i gave i went with my deputy who was a brigadier i uh, you last that you filled up the university with with, with military men. no <laughs> see it is such a right. difficult task that i had to have people who i trusted implicitly so anyway so then you met so i i, I met the the prime minister with my delegation hmm. No, and you met then the HRD minister. Oh, then I met the yeah, yeah. the HRD minister. To my shock, when I entered the office, there were three MPs, the whole hierarchy of the MHRD sitting there to, uh, well, to. So she had really laid out the red she carpet. She had laid not the red carpet. <laughs> they wanted to grill me and drive me into the ground. Well, at least uh, you know she did that. She did call you, and she you did have a conversation. Yeah.